God is saying, You are so absorbed in your earthly affairs that you do not pay attention to the words I speak to you, my children. You glance at my message but do not read it fully. If you do not value me in your life, then do not expect me to help you in times of trouble. Do not invoke me. God says I am here with you, and I hear your prayer for the environment and its preservation. I know how much you care for the earth and all the living beings that dwell on it. You are a precious gift to me and to the world. I want you to know that I am also concerned about the state of the environment and the challenges it faces. I created the earth to be a beautiful home for you and all my creatures, but some of my children have not been good stewards of it. They have exploited its resources, polluted its air and water, destroyed its habitats, and endangered its biodiversity. They have forgotten that the earth is not theirs to own, but mine to share. Do not lose hope, my child, for I have not abandoned the earth or you. I am working in mysterious ways to restore the balance and harmony of creation. I am inspiring many people like you to take action and make a difference. I am sending you signs and wonders to awaken you to the urgency and importance of caring for the environment. I am calling you to join me in this sacred mission of healing and renewal. You are not alone, my child, for I am always with you and within you. You have my power and my love to guide you and support you. You have my blessing and my promise to fulfill your prayer for the environment and its preservation. Trust in me, my child, and do not be afraid. Together, we can make the earth a better place for everyone. Listen up. You are so busy in your worldly life that you are not even able to follow the messages told by me, my children. You come to see my message but leave it unfinished. If you do not give importance to me in your life, then do not even remember me in times of crisis. Do not call me. Five things to keep in mind today. 1. Trust in God. He will guide you through this season and mend what is broken. Find solace and peace in Him. 2. Everything will fall into place. God understands the magnitude of your dreams, and He will not abandon you. 3. God will grant you strength even when you believe you can no longer continue. In moments of discouragement, He will bestow upon you joy. When the circumstances seem insurmountable, He will pave a way for you, for healing is on its way. You will emerge from this experience even better and stronger than before. Shift your focus onto God rather than the storm that surrounds you. Place your trust and attention on Him. The Bible says, release yourself from any bitterness, rage, anger, hurtful words, and slander, along with all forms of wicked behavior. Instead, let kindness prevail among you, fostering tender-heartedness and forgiveness toward one another, just as God, through Christ, has graciously forgiven you. Ephesians 4 31 32 note. Divine assurance is bestowed upon you today. You shall never be thrashed into a circumstance unaccompanied. I shall forever perceive your path. I shall unwaveringly stand beside you. You are never bereft of companionship, regardless of the challenges you encounter. Be reassured that I am present with you. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.